Hello and welcome. My name is Ursula Wachowiak, founder of The Right Hand LLC. The Right Hand is a virtual assistant business helping individuals, entrepreneurs, and companies of varied sizes. Our team of professionals will help you with tasks that range from resumes, travel reservations, accounting, website construction and management, social media management, printed marketing collateral, and more. You can consider us your personal executive assistant without the overhead of an employee. This marketing outline is prepared for the women of Dynamic Professional Women's Network Incorporated. It will serve as a tool for which you can build your business marketing strategy using internet-based resources. The outline has been created in conjunction with the coming release of Overcoming Mediocrity, Volume 3, Strong Women Edition. Our purpose is to not only help you grow your existing business, but to provide you with a marketing strategy for selling the book in both pre- and post-publication. If you have any questions or need help implementing these strategies, please do not hesitate to contact me at the underscore right underscore hand at yahoo.com. And I want to take a brief moment to extend my gratitude to Dynamic Professional Women's Network, Inc. for the opportunity to serve you in this informational production. You will find that the material herein will serve you in your business's overall marketing strategy. But before we get into that, I want to address something that specifically relates to marketing sales of the book, Overcoming Mediocrity, Volume 3, Strong Women Edition. On the back cover of the book, you will find a summary. To that, I have added a small paragraph to encompass men. That paragraph reads, Gentlemen of the world seek strong women to support them and share life. We encourage our men to share this book with the women in their lives and to learn a little more about what it takes to be that strong woman you seek and support. The reason for this addition in our marketing strategy is to have a multi-gender reach for additional sales to men that may purchase the book as a gift. Most of us realize that the internet is the leading means for news and information sharing. Maximizing online resources will be paramount to a successful marketing strategy. If you already have various online platforms set up, that's great. Let's just make sure you have all the right tools in all the right places. If you don't have your online platform set up, you will be pleased to learn in advance the best means for starting from scratch. By following this outline, you can effectively build the platforms and implement them to save yourself time and aggravation. We will start with a solid foundation called your website. Then we will link social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, eBlast, and blogs. These social media platforms are intended to be extensions of your business and bring visitors back to your website. We will discuss the purpose of each platform and give you tips on utilizing them effectively. There are many resources for economical and do-it-yourself websites. At the Right Hand LLC, we are a trusted reseller of GoDaddy products, which can be purchased through us at below retail prices. Your website should be an all-inclusive place that gives visitors everything they need to know about your business. Visitors that reach your website through direct connection can find your social media platforms. And vice versa, visitors that see your social media posts can be led back to your website. It is imperative to keep your website concise and clear. Folks browsing the internet have limited time and attention. If your website takes too long to load because it's inundated with graphics and videos, they will leave. Most businesses can be amply served with a five-page website consisting of a home page, a products and services page, a testimonials page, a contact us page, and a custom page that is based on your business vision. Once your website is set up, you can move on to setting up your social media platforms, each of which has varied purpose and options for marketing. We suggest that you begin with LinkedIn, which is a professionally oriented platform. On LinkedIn, you can showcase your owner expertise and your business vision. Here, you can seek and be sought for work. It is critical to develop a full profile so all your credentials are listed and so you display a professional online appearance. You can consider LinkedIn to be your grand resume. Your website will give visitors a taste of your expertise, but on LinkedIn they can get the whole story. 
You can find network groups related to your areas of interest in which you can post and interact with like-minded professionals. LinkedIn is intended to be strictly professional unlike other platforms that also allow for personal or fun interaction. The next social media platform for discussion is Facebook. Whether you are currently on Facebook or not, you most likely have heard of it. While Facebook offers a means for personal and fun interaction, be assured that developers have spent a great deal of time and money so that we can effectively use this platform for all types of organizations and the marketing thereof. You will be required to have a personal Facebook page before you begin, but you are not required to publish it, give it out, or even use it. I cannot stress how important it is that you set your business up in the correct category. Whatever you are, a non-for-profit, a musician, a retail business, a service business, Facebook offers a page format specifically for each. Using the right category will ensure that you get the options and features that will best serve your business. For example, as a products and services business, you have options for a deal of the day, a check-in at your brick-and-mortar location, target advertisement, and more. Like all of your social media platforms, it is important that your interactions be regular but not annoying. Provide useful information in both fun and professional manners. Like LinkedIn, you can find network groups on Facebook related to your areas of interest in which you can post and interact to spread your message. I will stress this a few more times as we continue. Be sure within your social media platforms that you reply to the interaction of your visitors. If somebody has taken the time to visit you, show them the courtesy you would in person by replying to them. There are a great many other social media platforms and like many things in life, depending on who you ask, you will get a varied response to the question, what social media platform provides the best business return? From my perspective, I received the most business return from LinkedIn and Facebook, yet we cannot discount any extra reach for our messaging. The nice thing about technology is automation. When done properly and in the right order, you can automate your messaging so that it auto-feeds to other social medias such as Twitter, Google+, Snapchat, and more. If I were allowed only three forms of social media, they would be LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. What I like about Twitter are the keywords, key phrases. Within Twitter, you can search for these keywords, key phrases, to see what's trending. Instead of joining groups like in LinkedIn and Facebook, you can follow other people or businesses of interest. Again, a good means to see what's trending. In Twitter, your posts are limited to a very small character count, so auto-feeding your other media to Twitter will create a truncated link. This will send visitors back to the original post, furthering your reach and follower base. And remember, always reply to your visitors if they make direct communication. I realize I told you my top three choices for social media, but I have to admit that YouTube is by far one of my favorites. The only thing is, I don't really consider it so much social media as I do a means for sharing an in-depth message. YouTube is what I call the do-it-yourself Bible. If you want to learn something, I bet there's a video for it. Of course, there are thousands of funny videos of cats and dogs as well. I began truly using YouTube right after the loss of my leg. Since I was hundreds of miles away from my core network of family and friends, I used YouTube to produce a series of videos that detailed my daily life and challenges. Folks were amazed with the messaging, and I later did another educational series about amputee motorcyclists. With relatively simple software, you can create messaging videos to be produced and saved on YouTube for repeat viewing. Within YouTube, you will set up your own channel, and within your channel, you may want to set up playlists, which are what we call categories. As we've learned before, automation is our friend. You can schedule your YouTube posts for specific dates and times, and you can also auto-feed the posts to your other platforms. One of my favorite things about YouTube is that by allowing a brief advertisement to play before your message begins, you can monetize your video. The only thing I stress here is that you must set up your main website so that your SEO 
is as inclusive as possible because Google AdSense for monetizing is very persnickety and if you get rejected it's very difficult to go back. The other thing that I stress about YouTube is that you must use non-copyrighted music material if you wish to have a background. You only get three strikes and then you're out. Someone that has been operating for a while probably already has a database of email addresses from people interested in their business or messaging. Unfortunately, not everybody uses that database to its fullest. eBlasts are a great means to put out periodic messaging that contains various topics. When using eBlasts, it is critical to use a platform that complies with can spam regulations so that you don't violate any acts of email privacy. You can add to your database of emails by using the email addresses collected via your various social media platforms. The regularity of your eBlast needs to be looked at a bit differently than your social media posts. Most of us are fully aware of those annoying companies that bombard our inbox day after day. Poor practices like this will prompt your audience to opt out of receiving your eBlast. Since eBlasts are generated to the emails of your existing followers, this is a means to keep your business name and your offerings current in your audience's mind. Unless your messaging is forwarded to another, it is not an exceptional means to generate new followers, unless, of course, you invest valuable money in buying email addresses of a particular target audience. I like to use eBlast like a monthly newsletter and include vital updates, specials, fresh learnings, and market news. I like to dispel the belief that blogs require someone to be an excellent writer or that it takes too long to create a valuable blog. I also like to educate folks on the value of producing a blog. Don't be afraid when I say that a blog is somewhat like a newspaper with various categories and stories within each. No, we are not suggesting that you write your own newspaper nor recreate the wheel. The benefit to incorporating a blog into your website is to provide Mr. Google with valuable SEO information. Since a website is typically static and doesn't change much, a blog allows you to have information in motion. This keeps your website content fresh for search engines. You can certainly create fresh material if you wish. If crafting a written message isn't your thing or if time is limited, you can certainly search the web for relative information and reproduce it with certain caveats. Be sure that your first paragraph is relative to your business and includes your main keywords for SEO value. You can either summarize the material you have found or copy it directly. Either way, make absolutely sure that you provide full credit to the original author as well as a URL link to the original material. If you are using written material, also include the appropriate credits. As we have shared previously, your blog posts can be scheduled for specific dates and times and can be shared to other media by auto feed. Using a blog platform can serve as your interactive posts that go to your LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and others, thereby saving you valuable time. If you have ever searched the web for information, you put in a key phrase that describes what you are seeking. Web crawlers then search millions of websites for material most closely matched to your phrase. This is where your SEO or search engine optimization comes into play. If you have a great virtual assistant such as the Right Hand LLC, you will not have to concern yourself with this in much detail, but you should definitely have a clue how this works. Reputable website building programs have parameters in the background that help you effectively manage SEO. Sure, you could pay a lot of money to Mr. Google to have your site reached, but it's expensive and holds no guarantees. It would take a great while to educate you on SEO, but for now, keep these three things in mind. Create and use over and again the most important keywords, key phrases that relate to your business and your messaging. The first 100. I stress to you the first 100 words of your various website pages and social media posts are the most critical. This is what the web crawlers will look at when trying to match your website 
to what the user has typed in the search field of Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc. I keep an electronic document of all my keywords for my various websites. This allows me to copy and paste them in necessary fields and it reminds me what keywords to use when I write new material. Once your website and various social media are properly set up, you can begin to effectively use them to market your business as well as the book Overcoming Mediocrity, Volume 3, Strong Women Edition. Here are a few extra tidbits to keep in mind as relates directly to pre- and post-publication sales of the book. If not already doing so, you may have to implement an e-commerce function on your website to take orders and payments. Consider using enticing techniques. For example, for pre-sale orders of the book on my website, the book is listed at $19.95 with free shipping, personal inscription by me, a free broad support sticker, and each person that orders in pre-sale is entered to win a prize package. See www.hdbroad.com to view my pre-sale of the book. Consider a weekly blog that gives a sneak peek of one of the women in the book. Use that blog to auto-feed to your various media and e-blasts. As a professional courtesy and to further networking, include links to the featured woman's website and various social medias. Always begin your posts with a short paragraph relative to your business which includes your keywords. Further value can be had by using URL links, images, and videos properly associated with your keywords. This may seem like a rather advanced puzzle, but I assure you that when done correctly from the start, you will realize the full potential that internet-based marketing can provide. Remember, the foundation is your website, and other internet media should always bring folks back to your website. Be consistent, concise, and clear while remembering the first 100 and your relative keywords. Automate as much as you can with auto feeds. Don't recreate the wheel. Use information already available and be sure to give credits and link backs. Be regular but not annoying with your posts. Be sure to reply to the interaction of your followers. As a business owner and a person with a life, you may feel this is just too much to add to your growing to-do list. Well, that's exactly why my company exists. The Right Hand LLC can accomplish all this and more on your behalf. This is Ursula Wachowiak of The Right Hand LLC, and I extend yet again my gratitude to Dynamic Professional Women's Network Incorporated for the opportunity to serve you in this informational production, and I thank you for taking the time to view this production.